Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over fashion week we're going to be getting new meta oh it's going down we're finally getting Toxapex let's get into it if you do enjoy these news flash videos give it a thumbs up really do appreciate it it just takes you one second and it's free so this event is going to be starting on September 27th until October 3rd and it is going to be featuring Marini and Toxapex as well as introducing a new shiny shiny furfu now we're also going to be getting costume Pokemon we have Heisenberg Diglett. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't put three hats on Doug Trio. And then you have the Joe Biden glasses Abzel. Um, I don't know why you can't really see him. It's, it's a little bit of a small image. And then you do have, uh, what what can we go with uh, Toxicroak? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to call him a hobo, but ripped hat Toxicroak. Okay. <laughs> and then you have your various different shiny fur foos. Look, I want it. That'd be cool. It's black. I mean, you know those shinies that change colors from one to the other like an opposite are usually pretty awesome now let's go ahead and see if they have it hidden behind a paywall nope nope you're going to be able to catch for a food in the wild although who knows how rare it is going to be uh you're also going to be able to get the costume pokemon in the wild as well looks like curly is making a return and you're not going to be able to evolve those unless you know they come out with a costume for it in the future and then you're going to have your various different ones in the raids I mean, if you're looking for candies for something useful, I'm probably going to have to say just stick to the Scrafty. And then you're going to have Mega Venary from September 27th until October 8th. Yeah. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to talk about that shiny bacon poke. Oh, yeah. Yavelto is going to be entering into the game shiny. No new move, but it is going to be shiny from September 27th until the 8th. Definitely a very good Pokemon for Master League, for raids. It's a generally good thing to have. And as far as Marini, it is going to be in the wild. There you go. Three-star raids as well. So if you're looking for a good IV, then raids. If you're just trying to hunt, in the wild, let's go. It's also going to be in the field research tasks. So that's what we like to see. Yeah, sure. Put the new things behind raids, but also leave them in the wild. But don't make it so they only spawn once every two hours, okay? <laughs> Take a look at 7-kilometer eggs, Diglett, uh, Bowtie, Schmoochums, Shinx with the hat. And old little top hats or whatever mini top hat, Toxicroak or Crogunk, which evolves into Toxicroak now. Uh, field research task, you got more Absol up there. So that one's going to probably be the rarer one, especially if you can get it freaking shiny. Snapshots, random. Who knows what it's going to be? They haven't really been in going into details on that. So we'll just have to see probably one of the costume Pokemon. So there you go. A better view of the pictures there and we're going to be getting new inventory for our avatars as far as clothes you know it's funny uh this is fashion week and as much as i enjoy this silly hat right here uh where are the hair styles i mean where are the freaking hairstyles all right with all this virtue signaling you think they would put in some sort of curly hair or something like that all right you know what i'm getting at we'll no need to dig into any further than that uh looking at marini here it is going to be poison and water and, you know, it's going to be having a pretty decent CP. What are the moves? Poison, Sting, and Bite. Now, these are all subject to change, so do not write it down in stone or anything like that. Gunk Shot, Sludge Wave, and Muddy Water. So this thing is going to have a long, drawn-out battle up against another... Uh, what is it? Well, I guess it's Mirror Match, but... Tentacruel, John Hankey's Pokemon. There you go. All right. <laughs> Take a look at its evolution here. Toxapex, which is going to be the big daddy. Meta shift. Max EP is going to be 1,905. Attack 114 on the lower end. It's okay. Defense on the massively high end at 273. And stamina at a decent 173. It's okay. But it's all right. It's going to be water and poison, which says, I will shut your fairies all the way down and completely. Unless you're going up against Nine Tails and it gets to a Psy Shock, in which case, yeah, it's going to be doing a lot. But uh, you're also going to be dishing it right back with Poison Jab. Potentially bite, gunk shot, sludge wave, and muddy water. So looking pretty freaking nice. Poison type is my favorite alongside of fighting. So this is more than welcome. This was kind of out of my time when this got introduced, but I'm still a big fan of it because, well, design looks great. Don't really have a connection with it, but I already do because it's poison type. So, okay, we're ready to go. Poison jab and mm, bite. Mm, I don't think anybody's going to be using bite, but poison jab is over. It's a rip. <laughs> Good game. Thanks. I won. Thank you. Come again. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> so I'm excited for this, as you can tell here. And this is pretty much the highlight of the event. Okay. Maybe people want to shiny hunt the costume Pokemon or they don't PVP, so they could care less about this. But I am completely ecstatic. Now, I do want to just take a look at the surrounding Pokemon that are in the Pokedex. 
that we haven't received yet. So we can potentially see what we're going to be getting in the future here. Not that it's a big mystery because they're all going to be coming into Pokemon Go, but they're all generally close to each other here. So this one, um, Mudstale. Wow, it's pre-evolution has a high combat power. Okay, we already got this. We already got this. Okay. Now this thing is Grass and Fairy. I don't know what the heck this is, honestly. Uh, but, you know, it didn't find some play. Grass and Fairy. So what is it doing? Is just becoming really weak to poison? <laughs> Seriously, like what? Uh, what's the fairy protecting from grass and what's the grass protecting from fairy? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something here. Don't want to stop to really kind of think about it too much, but let's just go ahead and keep it moving here. Now this is, this thing's fully evolved form. Okay, you're getting a little, okay, what's with the humanoid things, you know, like, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, uh, got this monkey here this is nuts all right if it actually keeps these moves it's got a decent attack at 222 uh the moves are going to be pretty much all fighting counter takedown and rock smash close combat superpower and brick break hide the steels hide your rocks because this thing is going to be eliminating them immediately all right so we got those okay and this is the one where i had to throw my hands hands up in the air and say when i saw it i was like the Pokemon company has lost ideas. They have truly lost. They're making a sandcastle. I know there's a lot of fans out there. I'm just being silly. Okay. <laughs> and then this one here. All right. So this, eh, I was about to call it Digimon because it, it reminds, it looks like a Digimon. It looks dangerous. It looks mean like a Digimon would, you know, put a couple of cannons on it, a few AR-15s, maybe a couple of AK-47s in case it went into the water so it can just continue on trucking. Anyways, thank you for watching and take care. Милый мой бухгалтер, вот он такой